Hello, uh, my name is Anders Kitt. I'm the architect of Estonian Information System, and today I'm going to talk about XROAD. Organizations nowadays contain a lot of data and a lot of systems, and since 1960s there has been around an idea of a middleware system that facilitates communication between the two. Usually, um, for this, a central system is built that um, does just that, facilitates communication between parties. This, however, creates a single point of failure, both in terms of development and operations, meaning that if that single system fails or we can't develop that for any reason, either the system fails or the development processes uh, stall. And that's a difficulty in, in rolling out middleware systems. In Estonia, uh, we chose a different approach. Back in the day, um, and actually to this day, Estonia does not have much resources. Therefore, men that make two mentalities uh, is very, uh, very widespread. And um, this is pretty much how XROAD came about. Um, because we lacked resources and funding to, to build that central, big, and therefore thus uh, powerful, uh, middleware system, we had to build something smaller. Estonians also have difficulty in um, reaching a consensus, which means that we couldn't really agree upon either as to which agency should, should um, have custody of that, uh, of that central system, which meant we had to figure something out that is cheap and distributed in nature. And so we came up with an XROAD solution. Um, so what does XROAD do? Um, firstly, XROAD allows for secure communication between parties. It solves a problem where two agencies want to exchange information but over the internet but want to do so securely. And um, it's a difficult problem to solve and people often get it wrong. And even more, if two organizations need to, need to exchange information, they need to agree upon the way to secure it up front. XROAD provides a single uniform way of doing that um, so that we can rely on all the communications being secure. Secondly, what XROAD does, it provides a single language for organizations to talk, talk to each other. Um, let's say we have a population registry. And let's say the population registry maintains all of their records of all people in Estonia on perforated cards, like they used to. Um, and now, if, if all of the systems would, who, if any system wants to talk to that uh, registry of, of, of cards, they would need to figure out the way how to do that. And they, they can do that, definitely. But, also, but when the population registry decides to switch to a more modern way of keeping rep records, all those other customers of that registry would need to change their ways of talking to the population registry. XROAD alleviates that. With XROAD, the organization talks to the XROAD, which talks to the information provider or the service provider. And uh, thus, the service provider is free to do whatever they like with their system, to change it, to develop it, to change technologies. As long as they keep talking the same language towards XROAD, they have always talked. Everything is fine and all, uh, non, no customer actually needs to do anything. This creates a huge amount of independence between parties. And independence um, reduces complexity and provides agility. Also, what XRO does is it makes sure that only authorized uh, organizations and or authorized people get access to data. XRO allows to define what organizations can get access to my organization's services or data. And it is important to understand that it is about, uh, about services being accessed by organizations, not people. Because in the framework of, of the XROAD, the organizations are responsible for maintaining proper authorization for their personnel. Let's say I have a bunch of medical records and um, I want to provide access to those medical records to a hospital. How can I know if a particular doctor or a nurse or any other official in that, uh, um, in that hospital is authorized to look at my medical records. 
I cannot possibly know that. However, in the extrude context, both legal and technical framework uh, is in place for me to grant access to the hospital and explicitly state that the hospital is responsible for their end of the stuff. So that only the doctors, the nurses and the, the other pr practitioners who have the right to access my medical records can see their end of the, of the X-road or have access to it. And thus, my uh, responsibility is limited to the fact that I limit the organizations who get access to my data and my services rather than people pushing, pushing the responsibility of managing the access rights of the people to the hospital. What um, XROAD ultimately allows us to do, it allows us to separate responsibilities, which very fundamentally is the underlying principle of democracy, because democracy is all about distributing power, uh, preventing power accumulation in one spot. This is what XROAD allows us to do. It provides control, provides security, so that all, the, all of the organizations can focus on their core competences, their core data and their core services in a manner that is secure, transparent and reliable. <laughs>